Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ashi playing some Battlefield 3 on the PC, playing some Rush this time again. Uh, it's all the same night, I think, I recorded in. I just had a couple good games. I'm in the lab. We're on the second base here. Uh, the first base was really uneventful. In fact, I think I even went AFK, so I just cut it out. Uh, but probably, this is probably my favorite Rush map. It really, it really feels like Battlefield Bad Company 2 to me. Um, it's the it's the environment and the way the map flows. It really feels like Arika Harbor to me. It kind of brings back those feelings. Arika Harbor is not only probably my favorite map from Bad Company Two, but probably most of yours. Also, I really I really wish between these huge gaps in multiplayer DLC content for BL uh, for BF Three, we should have some flashback content. You know what I mean? Maps from BF. Uh, I'm just gonna say Bad Company One and Bad Company Two, maybe even Battlefield Two maps. I think they're they still fit in the story, you know, even though it's mainly a multiplayer game to most of us. Uh, but I, I think really that would be awesome. The only thing that wouldn't work is probably the Chinese maps in BF Two. Uh, those probably wouldn't work uh, into their story. They probably wouldn't want to put those in. And that was some of the maps I wanted to see in Battlefield 3. Hopefully in Battlefield 4, we go to war with the Chinese. Let's just hope. Uh, <laughs> on topic though, and I would post this over some Halo gameplay. Unfortunately, I can't. I don't have an Xbox and I don't have anything Halo related to post this over. So I hope you guys do enjoy watching Battlefield 3 while I talk about Halo. <laughs> so first thing I have to say is I'm sorry. I drew too quickly yesterday. Uh, this is something a lot of streamers and YouTubers fear though um, because it's completely possible for them to say no you can't post it copyright strike. It's completely possible. It, it's happened before. Um, I have to say uh, that article I linked the last commentary was updated after I recorded, after I edited, and after I uploaded it. So I, I didn't know it was uh, updated until I was at work and I started getting a bunch of like hate comments in the comments section saying, No, it's not. This guy said this. And I was like, What are they talking about? And I had to go back on my little eye touch and read the article and I was like, What the hell? So basically, uh, what can I say about this? What can I say? I think the commentary I posted yesterday may have had a very different tone if I knew what this Frank guy said. Uh, basically, Frank O'Connor, uh, he's Halo's franchise development director, that's his title, has come out in the community thread where this originated from, saying, and I'll quote the whole thing, As I mentioned in the Halo community thread, these rules actually haven't really changed and even the updated and clarified text has been up there for months i assume somebody just noticed this and posted this morning posted this this morning that's wrong posted this morning because it sort of blew up this has always been the legal status for the ip and most ips in fact uh, if you don't know what ips are it's intellectual property which means an individual game or franchise, etc. Um, as you, sorry, and as you already know, nobody is being sued or in jail, etc., etc., etc. The language isn't designed to stop kids from streaming their games or covering their cost. It's designed to stop big companies from using somebody else's IP to run a business. Reverse Brew Rooster Teeth. <coughs> but we'll put together some language that will help the community navigate this easily and give people workarounds. Basically, he's saying everything in the article that I originally mentioned in my last commentary is completely true. It hasn't changed. He said that. Uh, you're not allowed to do this. And apparently this language or rules has always been there with Microsoft games and other publishers too. He's saying with other publishers, they, they put this in the in the rules. He says, and he I quote, it's not meant to stop kids from streaming and nobody is going to be sued or put in jail over this. But it's meant to stop big companies from using somebody, somebody else's IP to run a business. This is where it gets tricky. This is where the language doesn't it's kind of confusing for some. 
There's YouTubers out there, individuals loan channels that are businesses, that are huge and big and literally making way over thousands of dollars a year. And to them, this is a business. It's not about fun to them. It's it, This has always been an issue in our community, on, in the YouTube gaming community. Is this for fun because it's video games? Or is this a business where you make money, where you try to get the most out of money doing affiliate things with um, getting sponsorships with SteelSeries and Razer and all that kind of stuff? People do this to get paid. People post on YouTube to get paid. This, in the very essence of it, is a small business. And that's exactly what that, those rules are meant to stop. Now let's say they don't care. Let's say they'll let the white boys who are huge, they'll let the pound stars who are huge, he's buying a house and supporting a wife and kid with YouTube money. Let's say they don't care about them despite saying in the rules, and I quote, enrolling in the YouTube partner program or other similar programs where you're entering into an agreement to get paid is not allowed. Let's say they don't like what you say in your commentary or in your video. Let's say, let's say they don't like what you're doing in the video. Are they allowed to take it down? Give you a strike? Absolutely, it's in the rules. Now let's, let's, uh, now they might be selective about it. They might keep your content they like up. They might say, okay, well that video is okay. I like the content in that video. But, that I don't like. Let's say it's shit talking from a from a gamer like Keemstar. If you don't know DJ Keemstar for Hire, um, FAG Nation, who's who started shit talking and posting it on YouTube, and it got thousands and thousands of views, and literally mimicked what we all hate about Xbox and Halo. It's the shit talking, it's the tea bagging, it's all that kind of stuff. In fact, Bungie has banned this guy hundreds of times. <laughs> out of their service so he couldn't play the game. Let's say they don't like what he does. Or what if it's a bad review of Halo 4? What if it's a huge channel giving you a bad review or shit talking like DJ Keemstar? Some of you told me to take down the last commentary because Frank here came out and saved the day when in fact he says it's okay to do it but it's up to our discretion who posts what. Those are scary rules in a community full of really honest people, brutally honest people, really passionate people, and a community full of shit talkers and trolls. If I don't like Halo 4, and I say it's a shit game, will I be censored? We'll see. Anyways guys, I gotta go. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter for all my commentaries, my other videos, my live streams, and in the description below, even with this updated article, and I'll leave, a I'll leave it in the description below, a link to the article, what do you guys think? Look at those rules and tell me, is YouTube a small business? Despite it being fun, you know, to the majority of us that are not all money driven, it's fun to me. But it is a business. I am getting paid for it. Now, would I post Halo and not put ads on it? Probably. I'd probably, for the sake of my viewers, if they wanted to see Halo, they would see it. I post things that I think are fun for me, and I've done it in the past and gotten zero views on things. Dead Island. Halo. Even Halo I posted, and it was like 200 views a video, when I usually get five, 600. So what do you guys think in the comments below? Tell me what you think. I know there's some YouTubers that follow me out there. Tell me what you think in the description below. Be sure to read the whole article, though, before you comment and really come up with an opinion. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. As you see, I am flying. I am flying. I told you I'm a really horrible pli a pilot, but I'm actually doing my very, very best to fly here. And uh, I dodge a couple RPGs. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I know there's some music, like really, like horrible. You don't mention it in the comments. Music in the background here. 
but I was playing with it and actually recorded the music also. Uh, I tried to turn down the volume as much as possible, uh, but uh, I hope it's okay. I hope it doesn't get taken down. Uh, if it does, I'll just I'll repost this um, this commentary over another gameplay on another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys later. Peace.